All right, so the plan is I'm going to go Archivist when I have no more cards left in my deck, and then I'm going to Soul Thief his Shudder, and then I'm going to get the ability to play another Archivist. It's going to be easy. And the only reason we got uh, Soul Thief is because we play Brightwing. So Brightwing is the MVP of this game if that plan turns into a fruitful tree. All right. I probably should have zapped instead of Soul Thief. All right, give me Shudder. <laughs> oh no! Oaken Paladin. Standing in the passenger side of the best friend's ride. Yeah. That's why I've been playing a lot of TFT. I think I mentioned it in your chat like a week ago. You said you weren't really big into the auto chesses, which is fine. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of that. It's been fun. But and then it also sucks because we're going on a um uh, my graduation is August first. And then my dad my family wants to go on like a family trip. And the family trip, we're of course leaving the day the new Hearthstone expansion uh releases. And I'm gonna be gone for like a week and a half, which sucks. Like out of all the like, you know, Hearthstone expansions only come around every four months, right? And of course, the one uh expansion that comes around i'm not gonna be here <laughs> i'm literally gonna be gone the day it releases and i'm just like oh my god oh brightwing well hold the hold the phone we could master voodoo and we could get two bright wings that's twice as many bright wings but there's only one dragon in our hand so i think i'll hold the dune i probably just play brightwing go get him tiger i mean dragon You like auto chess? Yeah, I've been enjoying uh, a lot of TFT uh, 7D. I'm currently playing versus control warriors and mech mid range hunters. Only at rank 7 8 does not give me the motivation to play to rank 5 for the fun stuff. I mean, the later in the season it gets. Oh, it's a battle cry. Add a random legendary minion to your hand. I thought it was. For some reason, I thought this was a death rattle. We'll, we'll snap, crackle, buff. <laughs> I, I totally didn't even read what this guy does. I just knew he was a new dragon, so I played him. <laughs> Alright, well... We could kill Twilight Drake. But that seems like a lot of... Uh, a lot of resources. I could have coined Shield Slam and traded, but I don't. I'm not using Shield Slam on a Twilight Drake. What up, Tris? I try to time my stuff around April, August, December. Yep. And the best times like a month and a half, two months after the expansions released to do stuff, because you got plenty of time. You got plenty of time to do uh, whatever. But when they release, that's definitely when you don't want to take off. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a family vacay, so I had little to no say. They're just like, yep, that's what we're doing. I'm just like, uh, what about? And they're like, nope. That's the plan, man. I'm just like, but, but. And they're like, nope. I'm like, but it's my graduation. Nope. They were not having it. They're like, this is the day no other day can do. This always goes to face. The question is, do I coin hero power? I don't think so, right? There's no really need. I could coin out the fairy dragon, but I'll get that voodoo value. He also could, eh, maybe she could live. Eh, let's hold back. Nothing much. Went to Florida on vacation. I'm assuming you went to the theme parks, Triss. The overpriced theme parks. They used to be so reasonable. And then the prices continuously just went up. And now, like, they never went down. <laughs> went to Six Flags in Texas. I think I went to a Six Flags once. And I went on this Superman roller coaster and I shit myself. 
<laughs> it was in, it was it was very intense. It was it was quite intense. Oh man, okay. I mean, I could War Master, but I just don't think that's that's like the best thing I could do. Cuz I'm only getting a Fairy Dragon and an Ember Scale. I really don't care. Like Fairy Dragon's kind of annoying cuz he doesn't really have a great way to deal with it. And I don't know what kind of shaman he is, but eventually he'll run out of cards. So I'm just going to leave Spirit of the Frog up. Because I have enough removal in my hand to be able to deal with anything he plays. <sighs> probably, honestly, waiting too long. This is probably enough value. What would you play if you needed to get Legend in one day? Uh, probably Bomb Warrior. It'd probably be Bomb Warrior or some sort of aggressive style deck. The only reason I say Bomb Warrior is because I've always liked Warrior, and Warrior is probably the most comfortable deck I play or can play. So. Crikeys. But I really wouldn't recommend going for uh beginning of the season's always rough. I mean unless you're like you know the better player you are, it really doesn't matter when you play, you can hit legend whenever. But for most players the beginning of the season is the worst time to like try to play. Especially like any sort of fun deck. It's just gonna be tough. Because you're gonna you're gonna be going against everybody who you know, like everybody at rank five and four right now was legend legend last month, and they probably want to hit legend again. So they're gonna they're gonna play some good stuff. Bomb warriors long game surprisingly only against other warriors. The warrior versus warrior is long. Bomb warrior versus any other deck is pretty pretty quick because the bombs give your opponent basically a like a counter or a countdown. Like you've got to do something, and if you don't do it within this time frame, uh, the bombs are going to kill you. Okay, okay, well, I see here. I don't see, I don't feel like I really need to use anything. I mean, my hand's pretty, pretty thick, so Let's just kill this. I know he's going to, like, evolve this guy, so I could have, like, I could have Warpath once killed both of the Anoyotrons, and I could have killed the Giggling, and that was probably a better play, but I didn't do that. Sacrifices were made. Punish me. What deck would you recommend for having fun, but also good for pushing? I don't know, man. It depends on you. Like, when people, whenever people ask me to, like, recommend decks and, like, what to play, like, I don't know what kind of classes you like. So if I recommend Warrior and you don't like Warrior, my recommendation is, like, pretty garbage, right? If I think control decks are fun and you think aggro decks are fun and I recommend that to you, you're going to be like, well, this deck isn't fun. So I, it really, it's player to player. Keep smashing that hero power. I don't think I really need to do anything else. I could play Twidlet Drake. Whatever. The new shaman deck. Oh, the aggro shaman deck. It's, yeah. I mean, it's very fast. Very fast. So normally I play this deck as a kind of like a mid-range deck. I play it a little bit faster, but because we're playing against like what looks to be a super control shaman, I'm just going to play this deck more um, control-like, and I'm just going to bank on Arcvist. So this deck has like a more aggressive style, or it has like a, a slower pace. C currently we're going with slow. Mm hmm. EMP operatives actually been surprisingly awesome. 
Originally, I think there was BGH in the deck, but then I changed it for EMP because everybody's playing like Zilliax and all courts, all sorts of mechs, and everybody has like Snip Snap in their deck, so they make a big old thick Snip Snap, and you're just like, EMP, yee! <laughs> it is so funny. What does EMP even do? Well, let me tell you. EMP says destroy any mech you want. Do they make a big thick mech? You say no. Come on, right a little. Nothing is forever. Have to be something better than in the middle. I know I could go like Warpath five times and then he would only have a five down. That's probably best. I have two Warpaths in hand. Yo, Mr. Perkless. Thank you for the fall. I thought it first said, first said Mr. Perkies. <laughs> I was about to say a cool name. Not that your name's not cool, but Mr. Perkies. I was like, woohoo. <laughs> what do we got going on here? Oh, man, I really love Hagatha. It's such a fun card to play against. Superior minion placement. Gotta play around Super Collider, my dude. Feel the wrath of punishments. Oh, crikeys! Dude, this guy has so many answers. Every turn, whatever I do, it's like direct counter. I feel like every it's, it's like I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh right now, and this guy has like 15 mirror forces in his deck, and then he's that guy who runs anti mirror force. <laughs> so not only did I, he mirror force me, but when I tried to mirror force him, he anti mirror forced my mirror force, and then I royal decreed his mirror force, and then he like royal decreed my royal decreed, <laughs> and it's just like, are you kidding me? Like, what is this? We're going down, down. Shit got real when you royal decreed a royal decree and then they royal decreed your royal decree that got royal decreed. That's when the games got real serious. Just saying. Those were the Yu-Gi-Oh games that shit got real. And then they Imperial ordered. So you tried a mystical and then they Imperial order the mystical, but then it wouldn't do anything anyway because it's still triggered. That was a funny one too. You'd be like mystical and then Imperial, but mystical still triggers. Maybe the, no, 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 no. Mm hmm. Do you still play Yu-Gi-Oh? Nah. I mean, I'll occasionally go to a card store and there'll be like a tournament or there'll be people playing Yu-Gi-Oh and I'll bring my like $15 burn deck that I built um, like a really long, it has like really old stuff in it. Like magic cylinders, just desserts, uh, space, or what, it's like motion or something, space wave motion cannon, super awesome destroyer of worlds. It runs like uh, the Ojama Trio, it runs a uh, Lava Golem. So like I'll bring that to like a tournament that you know what I mean just like a like a t like I don't plan to go to this I'll just happen to go there there'll be a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament I'm like all right let me let me in a piece of this action I'll be playing I last time I went I actually won like hundred bucks people didn't know what the fuck the cards did everybody's doing this like I don't even know what it was called like synchro summoning or something like that whatever it was it was like the levels of uncoolness this was like a really high level of uncoolness and um. Yeah, he, he really didn't like uh, 
Not a lot of, like, I didn't know what they were doing. It was really uncool, but they still lost because I would just Ojama Trio their board and then they couldn't play any more minions and they had no minions that actually killed their minions or they would synchro summon this dude and I would Lava Golem and kill it. So, what up, Priest? I don't know. It was, it was good stuff. It was good stuff. The only card that, the only deck that beat me was this, like, virus infecting deck. deck. I don't even know. He probably cheated. There was no way the card did what it said it did. He basically just picked... Uh, a trap magic or monster in my deck and i couldn't play any of that type and he did it for all of my cards i didn't i didn't understand how that's a card he basically just said you can't play any spells for the rest of the game i'm like what i'm like what do you mean he's like that's what it says and i was like that has to be banned or something you can't just be like oh you can't play any magic cards like what you're fucking you gotta be cac xd in me dude like there's no way that card is legal there's just no way. There's just no way. I'm still salty. Hell yeah, you can't just tell me I can't play my cards. What kind of shit is that? I paid money for those cards. Granted, it was only $15 because I got them out of like the pile of cards that are super old. But I still paid money. You can't tell me I can't play the cards I paid money for. I remember when Pegasus stole Mokupa. All right, I remember. When Seto Kaiba had to save him, from, save him from the Shadow Realm. Therefore, I deserve to play my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Just saying. The Epidemic, but it should only work for three turns? No, this this guy played it off like he could do that forever. I'm Like I said, I'm pretty sure I got debated. I am fairly certain I got debated. <laughs> I tried TFT this week. A game is Mega Pogs. Yo, Bapsy boy, that's what I like to hear. Oh, also Baps, I got your um, your uh, your the the card that you sent. My my uh, my my uh, my dad goes apparently went through my mail and he was like, "You got invited to a wedding." I was like, "Yeah, I know. That's my boy Baps." And he was like, it, "Like he like was looking at the picture, the front and back." He said, "Good job." Like it was a, it was like a good card. Papa Ju said, good job. He said, A plus, homie. If I could be like that, tell me anything, just to live one day. <sighs> you can't tell me I can't play my call cards and Esper Control shows up. Fuck Esper Controls. Fuck Tofu. Shit's garbage. I swear, he's gonna probably mind control again and he's gonna take my gruel. Ah, scheming? Alright, that's fine. I, I don't know if playing Zilliax into the uh, the Kaboom was the bestest idea. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not like I can do really anything anyway. Actually, I want to keep this card in my- no, 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 I still have another dragon in my hand anyway. Um, I guess I could hit him with the Cowabunga? Alright, Cowabunga. In case you know, M20 dropped today. Yeah, but that's not for the standard format. From my understanding, the, um... Fuck, he runs Arcvist, and that means he's gonna run Shudder, too. You, if this guy runs Shudder, this guy... Oh, he's one of those, man. If it, not only does he play Arcvist, if you also run Shudder, I'm gonna be so annoyed. I want to play some TFT this week, like party up with drink and cup, we catch up. Yeah, sounds good, Baps. We were actually playing TFT last night with whoever wanted to play. Every time I play TFT, almost anybody's welcome to join. Yeah, I play Arcvis too, but like, I play Arcvis because of the Bomb Warriors. And other people, like, if no one played Arcvist, I wouldn't play this card. The only reason I run Arcvist is for people like him playing Arcvist. I wish I didn't have to play this card. I hate this card. I don't want, like, I... I Ugh, I hate this card so much. The card shouldn't exist. If the card does exist, it should only put um It should only put five cards in the deck. You just one of each. Uh 
Like, this card is just a bad design card. It's not fun to play. It's not fun to lose against. It's not, not cool. Very similar to Leroy. Losing to Leroy feels like shit. Winning with Leroy doesn't really feel that great either. Wait, are you playing Dragon Warrior? Yeah, <laughs> we're playing Dragon Warrior. <laughs> Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? This is what, all right, I have a game plan, boys. We've got a plan. Hey, I'll, I'll let you know the plan here in a second. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, what's better, a 7-drop or a 10-drop? Probably a 10-drop, right? That's, that's pretty UC. All right, so the plan is I'm going to go Archivist when I have no more cards left in my deck, and then I'm going to Soul Thief his Shudder, and then I'm going to get um, uh, the ability to play another Archivist. It's going to be easy. And the only reason we got uh, Soul Thief is because we play Brightwing. So Brightwing is the MVP of this game if that plan turns into a fruitful tree. <laughs> So theoretically, we should win in fatigue. Actually, no. We'll probably it'll probably end up being a draw. Well, that's eight thirty forty. No, I should win this. If if the plan that I have put together works out, we should be good. I've clear. I've carefully devised this plan, boys. Since I was a young age, I've been crafting this plan, and it's really it's gonna work out. If I win like this, I'm going to have to take a break <laughs> because this game has been going on for like way too long. The hell? Oh, Grimscale Oracle created by Arkvist. Keck XD, dude. All right, give me, give me, uh, give me, give me, give me, give me cards. Did you see the game from Dog? Uh, No. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, you played like a 50 minute warrior versus shaman? Oh. Um, I guess I'll keep the dragon in my hand for crowd roaster activations. So that's all I do. I haven't gotten delivery drone a single time, so. Kind of hard to make spooch happen. <sighs> if I draw crowd roaster, I'm just gonna arc. I'm just gonna uh, arc this. The best draw is crowd roaster. Alright, let's draw Crowd Roaster. One time, boys. 50-50. There it is not. Okay. I mean, I could shield block into it. <sighs> Brawl is probably the best play. I have two of them. The next turn is Arc Fist Shield Slam. This could be bad. What would he play that I would really dislike? There's a lot of cards that I really dislike. Do I play my direct damage spell? It could hit one of my minions. The answer is no. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, Arkvist. Alright, let's get some dank-ass shit, okay? Alright, Execute's pretty yummy. Uh, Epic Mount. Oh, Omega Assembly was a better pick. Whoopsies. Oh, Alright, too late. 
Um, bombs. This guy's cool. All right, cool. I fucked up. I should have picked Omega Assembly instead of uh, Mount Seller. It's too late now, though. I saw a big minion and I clicked it. Those were awful picks, eh? They could be worse. The Omega Assembly was definitely like A+. Plus. That was like yummy, yummy, yummy sauce. But I fucked up. But I don't think it matters. I still think we can do this. <clears throat> Alright, so now the game plan is we... Want to play as many cards as our hand as possible. And then we're going to play Soul Thief. So we're going to go like Crowd Roaster, Fairy Dragon, and then the following turn is like, after he had, I want to play um, the Soul Thief when he has um, like two cards left in deck. Soul Thief steals his hand, and since he has a Shutter Walk in his hand, which is this card right here, it's either this card that says 9 or this card that says 2. So we do this. Fairy Dragon or bots? Bots are actually just better. I just really don't want him to play uh, Shudder. Not yet. Because if he plays Shudder, I'm going to lose. I need I need him to hold that Shudder. So I can Soul Thief it. Okay. Wow, that was a really good randomly generated card. <sighs> Why is this so hard? Because, like, the Boom Reaver can pull, like, a Mount Seller or a uh, Lynch. Which is, this is super high value. I have three turns to make it happen. It's pro this is probably the play. I play this next turn. Because he's going to play his... Alright, so next turn he's at two. The following turn he's at one. The bomb is okay. The thing is, the bomb doesn't really matter until he plays the shutter. And I, I, I'm going to be soul thiefing anyway, so this is the play. I know this seems kind of weird, but this is the play. Because remember, when he shudders, he's just going to reshuffle the cards anyway. And I have to play all the cards in my hand because Soul Thief is going to replace them. So, like, if I just do Soul Thief, all my cards are getting replaced regardless of bomb. So, next turn, I go boom. Following turn, I play Fairy Dragon Soul Thief. And then he'll play, depending on when he draws bomb, is when he, he got Beakered Lightning back. Because that was the first card he played. He might actually play the Shutter when I play Boom Reaver. So it, like, I just know he's probably going to play the Shutter when I get this card, man. Oh, I pulled the shit. Not cool. Yeah, he's going to play his Shutter now. I fucked up. I should have waited. I, I should I should have not played this. I should have just gone Fairy Dragon Soul Thief. Because now he's probably going to win. Because he's going to play Shutter here. He's going to clear my board besides the 7-5. And he's going to make a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's the 2. He's going to play this 2 right here. That's Shutter right here. I fucked up. I shouldn't have... I should have just picked... I should have picked the bomb. Shouldn't have played him. Put two bombs in his deck and then went Soul Thief. Unless he's greedy. He could be greedy here. No, do not play Shudder. Play a different card. You know you want to play a different card because I want Shudder. I deserve Shudder. I am a good player, so I get him. You don't need him. You can have him, but I need him too. So what you're going to do is you're going to play not Shudder. That's good. That's not Shudder. Good job. This is exciting. These are exciting. You're gone. Baby, I like to come home. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Good stuff. I agree with your decisions, fantasy. 
Alright. I probably should have zapped instead of Soul Thief. Alright, give me Shudder. <laughs> oh no! That's the fourth time this week that I've gotten High Rule! Or High Reek, fuck this card. Alright, now I win. Now it's impossible for him to win. <sighs> I won this game because the Brightwing gave me Soul Thief. That's the only way I was able to win this game. This is my life. When you go on. He's got the Zenmo Hex combo. It's fine. I have the same combo he does, so. Mm -hmm. The reason I pick Hecklebot is because when he um, uses Shudder, it's going to put cards back in his deck, and then I can Hecklebot them out so he hits Fatigue faster. And I save the Stormbringer for when I get Microbots. So next turn can be a good Stormbringer turn. Oh, gosh. Fruitful plans. Brightwing OP. Brightwing. I'm so glad I put Brightwing in the deck. Best dragon ever confirmed. Hellscream, are you kidding my... Are you flabberjacking my slumber knocks? No, not cool. This is negative cool. Oh, gosh. Actually, no, it's fine. Because I'm just going to be able to Zenmo Hex. Whatever. Babies need to come home. Doo -doo. Okay. What you gonna do? Act a fool when you walk up and play. You got no place. Everybody knows that you're not gonna win the race. Your boy Shaq, he's got the good pace that make you go. <sighs> And I actually fucked up here. I should have hero powered first and then put Zenmo on the right side because now he can Zenmo my Zenmo and he can hit the 6-2 and Zenmo. But if I would have put it on the other side, it would have been better. So I fucked up my placement with Zenmo. I should have hero powered first. Once again, a midnight hero. <sighs> I got mojo. Good news is I'm going to be able to storm bringer this board. What up, Creamy? What up, Alu? All right, Stormbringer is not as Stormbringy. Do you need a blessing? <laughs> Stormbringer is less bringy now. What up, Isom? Or Isom? <laughs> Nothing much. Pretty good. Tomorrow's 4th of July. Gonna have a good time. We're gonna drink some tonight with Tony. I don't know how this long, how long the stream's gonna be. Probably gonna get off around 7 or 8, because I think that's when he wants to hang out. I don't know what we're gonna eat, though. 
What is my shutter gonna do? It's gonna recast all my battle cries. So it's gonna put a bunch of bombs into his deck. It's gonna give me fire tree witch doctors. It's gonna get the scale worm. So it's gonna have rush. It's gonna get twilight drake. Uh, my war master of a dune's gonna copy. So if there's dragons, I'm gonna get them. It's gonna kill a mech on the board because the EMP operative. I'm gonna gain like 15 armor with ember scale drake. It's gonna do seven damage with crowd roaster. Doctor boom's gonna re trigger again. And um, hecklebot's gonna happen. You know. The bare necessities. You know, the simple stuff. Nothing too crazy. Omega Assembly was so much better than Exotic Mount Cellar. Can't believe I missed it. Behold the might of storm wind. This is where I make some random legendaries. He's going to recopy this card because he sold them. Whenever you cast any spells on this minion, no, it actually doesn't work. Oh, if, you, if you've cast any spells, I don't know if this works with that or not. Okay, then. <sighs> I could just shut her now, but then it's going to recopy the hand thing. Oh, not again! Stop! I don't know. I might have just lost. No, not the bat again. If he has Bloodlust, I think he wins. I keep getting this bat. Oh, I got Nor's Dormu. All right, cool. You have four seconds to make your play. Spirit. Did he make the trades happen? Oh, turns over. My turn? 